Hi, I'm Thomas the Hermit, and I'm a lay hermit and a man of prayer, and I have a YouTube channel. On that YouTube channel, I talk about prayer, contemplation, mysticism, and I also talk about other things that are concerning me within the Catholic Church. Now, I've made a lot of different pro-life videos, and I also made a video about the rosary movie called Power in My Hands. Now, I was promoting power in my hands because I thought, well, you know what? The word needs to get out about that movie. Well, I didn't know there was another important movie that came out. I just heard about this from LifeSite News. LifeSite News put a little bitty clip out because to promote this movie and because the movie has been kind of hidden. I didn't know anything about it. And I'm assuming that maybe some of y'all have never heard anything about this movie either. The movie is called Gosnell. Now, if you don't know what a Gosnell is, I didn't know what a Gosnell was. I know what a Gosnell is now. And that name is going to become synonymous with very infamous names like Mingale. You know? You've heard of Mingale, that terrible uh, Nazi abortion doctor. Not abortion doctor, no, he wasn't an abortion doctor, I'm sorry. That terrible Nazi uh, so-called doctor who experimented on twins. And when the experiment was over, we'd have both the twins killed. This guy was a monster. Well, we have our own American Mingale. And he, this movie um, was... Uh, the New York Times did not allow them to run promotion in the New York Times um, and that's why the title that I put up, the New York Times doesn't want you to see this. Now the movie has already gone out. It's already hit a limited amount of theaters. It started on the 12th of October 2018 and um, the movie did fairly well. It, it uh, did box office at about uh, 3.7 um, million dollars and I think its budget was at about 2.4 so it actually did fairly well. And they are now releasing it out uh, for, for purchase for video. And I want to promote this video. I think this video there's a, there was an, a video that I helped promote a little bit when I was a young man, which was called The Silent Scream. And The Silent Scream was a video about, uh, they did an ultrasound of a woman receiving a uh, suction abortion. And there you can actually see the child uh, going back, opening its mouth like in a silent scream when this thing was happening when the child felt that it was in danger. That was a very powerful movie, but I think that this movie right here has the power to really hurt the pro-choice movement. Now, um, it's called Gosnell. It's about a Dr. Kermit Gosnell. And I didn't know anything about him, so I quickly uh, ran up some videos. There's some videos that Fox put out. I'm gonna put a link to those. There's the video that LifeSite News put out, and I'm put a link to it, and I'm also going to put a link to the trailer um, uh, down below. And from what I saw um, about uh, Kermit Gosnell was that the, the, the gist of it was, was he was inducing labor, and when the child came out that was alive, he was snipping the back of their head and killing them after they had been... Uh, born. Uh, that's what this uh, monster was doing. And those were happening um, uh, for a while in his clinic, about 50% of them um, towards the end. Um, he's famous for, or infamous rather, for helping to get Roe versus Wade passed. He did some abortions early on and he continued, even though he was not an obstetrician and uh, or a gynecologist, he was uh, doing these abortions. There's an actual story about him killing a woman, um, and then there's many, many reports that the state ignored 
about uh, injured women and, and all sorts of things that happened under this Dr. Kermit Gosnell. The title of the film um, also is that he was the greatest uh, American serial killer. And I'm sure upon deeper thought, I would not be able to argue against that. He probably is. Um, if we exclude abortion, if we just talk about the fact that he was legally convicted and got a life sentence for killing uh, several babies and also a manslaughter charge for killing the woman on anesthesia, they overdosed her on anesthesia. Um, his practice was horrendous. You know, it really makes you scratch your head and you go like, how can people who are trained to be healers do such things? Well, I don't know. I don't know how a Joseph Mingele is created. I don't know how a Dr. Kermit Gosnell is created. Okay? But this film did fairly well in a limited uh, a scope. And I hope that it distributes well. I hope the word gets out. And this is Thomas the Hermit, and I am promoting this film. Anyways, do say a prayer for me. I am praying for you. And uh, let's get the truth out about Dr. Kermit Gosnell. And, um, and I'll talk to you later.